What's up guys, Volt here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Thomcraft 3 for Minecraft. Uh, so what you're going to need for this mod is Thomcraft 3 and Minecraft Forge Universal. Now, download links will be in the description below. Uh, so first link should take you to the Thomcraft forums. It will look something like this. Uh, so once you're here, just go ahead and scroll down until you see the download latest version. It's currently for Minecraft 1.4.7, but if you're watching this in a later version and this is updated, then it should still be the same tutorial. Now, you're going to click this blue uh, 3.0.2b link. It'll take you to AdFly. Just skip the ad and it should start downloading. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and click the other link to Minecraft Forge. And then you're going to want to go to Releases. And then just download the latest version, which is cur currently 6.6.0 .6 for Minecraft 1.4.7. So once you have both of those downloaded, go ahead and put them on your desktop, as I have here. Now once they're on your desktop, go ahead and click this Start button and type in percent app data percent. Once you type that in, your roaming folder should pop up. Go ahead and click that. And here you, you should see a .minecraft folder. Go ahead and open up that .minecraft. Then open up the bin folder. And in here you should see a Minecraft executable jar file. Go ahead and right click that. Open with WinRAR. Opening this with WinRAR just lets you uh, drag all the files in and stuff. And if you can't open this with WinRAR, you probably need to go download it. And if you're using 7-zip, it'll be the same process. But a uh, download link for WinRAR will be in the description below. So once you have this downloaded, go ahead and... Let me drag these aside real quick. Go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. Once this is open, go ahead and press Control A. It should highlight everything in Minecraft Forge Universal. Drag and drop all the class files and the file folders into your Minecraft.jar. Let this load, then click OK. Then once this loads, go ahead and locate the meta-inf. That's in all caps. You're just going to want to delete that. You can do that by right-clicking, delete files, and yes. If you don't delete that, you'll get black screen, and if you can't delete that, make sure Minecraft is closed, because that could be a problem if it is open. So, uh, once you've deleted that, go ahead and close Minecraft.jar and close Forge, and minimize your bin. Now you're going to run Minecraft, uh, just so that you make sure that you installed Forge correctly. So, if you installed it correctly, it would say something like, FML is setting up your Minecraft environment. Then it'll go ahead and launch, and you will see that it says three mods loaded which are the basic forge mods now once you have launched this you can just click uh, quit game now what running that did is it created a core mods and a mods folder in your dot minecraft so go ahead and click this back button until you're in your dot minecraft and then locate the mods folder now in here go ahead and drag your thomcraft 3 uh, 3.0.2b or whatever version it's in into your mods folder and that's it. Now you're done. You can go ahead and close everything down. Go ahead and open up Minecraft. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that it did work. I'll go ahead and log in. Make this full screen. Maybe. There we go. So now that you're in, it says four mods loaded. You go ahead and click your mods, and you will see Thomcraft. Uh, and this is just a little description about the mod. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and go into single player and uh, show you guys a little bit of the mod. So once you're in here, uh, basically what you're going to need uh, to figure out pretty much everything about this mod is the Thomonimicon, the Thomonimicon, something like that, and a table. So what you're going to do with this is right click the Thomonimicon. I'll just call it the T-Book, because I'm probably saying that way wrong. <clears throat> so right-click the T-Book onto your table. And this will open up all of the things about the mod. Uh, you can just click it, and then to go back, press E. I'm not actually... Oh, so you don't need a table. You can just right-click it, and uh, it'll go ahead and open up all this thing. So say you want to learn about silverwood trees. We'll go ahead and click that, and it tells you all about the trees. So uh, that's it for the mod. I'm not going to really be doing much of a review because this is such a big mod. But uh, on the forums, there are reviews, and I'm sure you can go into YouTube and type in Thomcraft 3 mod review, and you'll find some great ones. Uh, now, if you're in creative mode and you're looking for these items, you're going to want to click this arrow over. 
then you'll see the Thomcraft uh, items and these are all the items that comes with the mod uh, let's see if I can find one of my favorite things that I've played with the Wanda Frost I think this is just really cool because of uh, well when you right click it uh, it, it shoots little little frost things I think that's really cool uh, I haven't tested it on any mobs and then there was also the Wanda Lightning I think this is really cool too with the animations and everything and uh, I just think it looks it, like, it looks really cool. Uh, so that is all for the mod. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I'll try to get back to you if I can. And then if you want to go ahead and subscribe so you can be updated on when I'm posting all my new uh, mod tutorials, uh, go ahead and do that. And then if you could like this video, that will help me out a lot. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'll be posting more about uh, upcoming mods and all that jazz. So uh, yeah, that is all for now, and I will be seeing you guys later.